What is up my friend? My name is Echo and today I have Spooby HD back on the channel and we're going to be upgrading our commanders and working on the talent trees focusing today on Minamoto and Zhao Zhao. Spooby, you are the master of upgrades, which is why I wanted to have you on the channel today. What's going on, man? How are you doing, brother? Echo, thank you very much for having me on the channel, man. No problem. So, before we get into this, tell me how things have been going on over on your channel. I know you're bringing out Rise of Civilizations every day, and it's been fire over there. You want to tell me a little bit about that? Oh, uh, pretty much. So, ever since like, the update like really actually like came out, I've been pushing out more commander guides because the Talent Tree 2.0, in my opinion, actually, is actually a lot better than, you know, a lot of other ones. You know, hence... You know, hence, uh, you know, some controversies with the gathering, uh, with like the gathering speed being decreased by 20%. However, you know, I really do like um, the way that Rise of Civilization is going with these talent trees, especially with the uh, green commanders actually having three, uh, you know, base archetypes instead of just one or two. Yeah, I like that too. I actually noticed that above me right here, every single commander has three now and it makes more sense for the talent trees. Guys, before we get into today's video focusing on the nuker setup, I want to remind you to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for daily Rise of Civilizations videos. And in addition to that, there's going to be a link in the description below for Spooby's channel. Make sure you head over there as well because he is the expert on these commanders. So, Spooby. We're starting off with Minamoto today. I have 29 talents that I can work with right here, and uh, you're gonna help me get through it. So why don't we go in here, and basically we we couple Minamoto with Zhao Zhao to go out on these attacks, and they're basically my powerhouse. So how do I wanna build these guys up? So what we're actually gonna do, uh, because there's actually a little bit of on, people are saying that, you know, the talent trees actually do stack. However, that is not gonna be the case. So in actually in this case, Echo, Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually not going to be concentrating on, like them as being each other, but um, but we're actually going back out for a second. The only things that should be stacking with each other is going to be just the skills, which would just be uh, uh, Kyo Shiakeru. We have the Trial and Kumadera. We have the uh, Master of Kendo, the Warlord, and also the uh, Kyo, like the other thing, you know? So okay. if we actually go back over to the talents, we actually want to go ahead and build them up as something different than Cao Cao because one of the um, archetypes changed. So he's actually no longer a nuker. He's actually no. Uh, he's actually more of a mobility and caliber. So the way we're going to want to build up Minamoto no Shichune is going to be as a nuker. So we're going to be want to be focusing on. Uh, first of all, we're going to want to do the attack of all. Okay. And that's going to be this one right here. The first one. We're going to upgrade that. That opens up the next stage of the tree. For anyone that's brand new to this, you obviously have to work your way through the tree. That's kind of how talent trees work. Absolutely. And, you know, before the comments, like, you know, decides to like, get me on this, we're not going to be building Minamoto as a jungler or as a cavalry as well, because we do, like, you know, for people who do it, like, end up investing into the game, more or less, you're going to have other commanders, like Sao Sao. You're going to have other commanders, such as Frederick. You're going to have, you know, other stronger, you know, commanders as well. And pretty much for Minamoto, we want to base it off his skill, which is first skill, which which is to be a high damage factor of when you have it maxed out by 1400 and us another like you know, another damage roll of um of 600. let's get into it so the first thing we want to do is actually go up one which we call the burning blood now what that's going to be it's going to be a normal attack gain an additional nine rage now what that is guys if you guys do not know from the old talent tree that's going to be more like the disturbance now what this able to do or like the rage factor or like the rage building uh, every single turn you'd be able to gain an additional amount of rage now it's going to re-roll his skills be able to do out like being able to output a lot more uh, a lot more damage okay so to get yep. there we need to get three slots right here on defense all troops correct yes bam all go. right so we just opened up the second slot are we going up over here to the burning blood or do you want to talk first about the uh the shield yes absolutely okay so let's go and talk about the shield so the okay. shield the heretic shield is going to reduce skill damage taken by six percent now let's be really good especially like you know when you think about um like okay say for it's like pvp action or even like expedition matches we're gonna mm -hmm. be bursting against uh, an enemy south south. We're gonna be bursting against like other very strong troops. And say for instance, like they have a damage factor of fourteen hundred, you'd be able to automatically reduce the damage taken by six percent when it's maxed out. So okay. you're always gonna okay. want to get Herotic Shield. All right. So what are we going with first? Are we gonna go with Herotic Shield or Burning Blood to start things out? Uh, actually, we're actually gonna go with both. Um, okay. I really do like both because what it does. It builds up rage and it also like puts like sure like a shield. All right, so we're going with both of those, and with that, I'm left with 19 talent points left. In which direction are we going? Are we going towards the latent power or the all for one and the all for one, or are we going for tactical mastery and naked rage? Where are we going, Spooks? Uh, you know, actually, we're actually going to go for next. We're actually going for tactical mastery. Now, the tactical mastery is going to be the increase of uh, active skill damage by three percent. Okay. For like from when we start, it's going to be one percent. And again, y'all, because of the high damage of him being a nuker, we're going to want yeah. as much active skill damage as possible. Okay. So I'm just going to upgrade this three times right now. Yes. One, two, three, three percent tactical mastery, looking good. Okay. So um, so the next thing we're actually want to go for is going to be the naked rage. And, uh, and before that, go ahead and go for the attack of all troops as well. That's actually be right next to the, uh, that's going to be right next to. Okay. Like, 
skeletal hand. We'll do that. And then we're going to do the skeleton hand naked range. Increases skill damage dealt by 2%. So this is going to be jumped up to 6% or, yeah, 6%. And, like, you know, and I do know, like, that a lot of people are going to be heckling. It's like, okay, so why are you going for naked rage? If you guys go ahead and read it out, it's going to be increases skill damage dealt by 6%, but also increases skill damage taken by 6%. So we're okay, talking about now, a 12% change. Oh, uh, yes. Well, it's going to even itself out because it's going to go minus 6. Let's also go plus 6. But, however, if you have so it's automatically going to cancel itself out. You're going to see yourself having a plus six buff. Okay, cool. I like that. And from here with 12 more points, am I working my way over here to clarity or am I doing something different? Oh, let's see. Okay, let's actually go to the all for one. And that's going to be like the little scroll. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and press. It's actually where the defense of all troops is. Go yep. ahead and upgrade that one. But that one's going to be on a readout to be um, after the primary commander uses a skill, active skill damage on the secondary commander increased by 2%. Ooh, okay. Now, I, nice. really like that, uh, now, I really do like that because it's actually all going to matter on whose Minamoto's um, secondary commander is going to be. And I'll be getting to that in a little bit. Okay, which for me is going to be Zhao Zhao most of the time, correct? Absolutely. And what's awesome. going to do, it's going to push out additional damage on top of it. When it gets maxed out, it's going to be 6%. I like You're that. Like, 6% is going to be a whole lot, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty much like, you know, in four, like four and four, you guys will be wondering, it's like, okay, so you're actually going like all the way through. Do you really enjoy all these skills? And to the answer really is yes. You know, you're going to be actually going to the very bottom, like the end game of the talent tree. If you want to go ahead and look at the clarity skill, as well as coming on the very bottom. Yep. So if you go and read that off, it's going to see after you uh, after using an active skill, increase skill damage by two percent for the next six seconds. Okay. Mm, we want that. I'm also going to want the second one. as actually be the feral nature. And that's going to be right up there. There we go. Uh, noble attacks have a ten percent chance to gain additional twenty rage, and that's okay. going to go by a factor of five. Okay. Yes. And you can that as much as possible um i yet do not know um how much it actually scales up i think it's be by five at least so when it gets maxed out it's probably gonna have either 25 or even 50 additional okay. rage so you can just have that rage stack up so where are we going first are we are we completely ignoring rejuvenate and and uh latent power so like uh, okay so with that being said i really do like, like they're very good but those are like for end game like you know when you're when your minamoto is going to be up at like level 40 level 50. Mm -hmm. So, yes, um, should we go right now with the health of all troops? Yes, yes. So let's go for the health of all troops. Health of all troops, we're good. And I guess from there, we're going to marching speed of all troops, buffing that up yes. too. That leaves me with five points, which are we sending all of them into clarity? Well, there's only well, three. three. Clarity is maxed. And now, I, can I go over to... No, I can't go to feral nature. I can't go in that direction. I got to go over yes. here, right? Yes, uh, yes. So for feral nature, you're actually going to have to have the rejuvenate skill as well as clarity. So... Uh, and also, you're going to have to get the defense of all troops. You'll pretty much have everything maxed out. Okay. So, um, that being said, do you have the all for one maxed out? Yes, you do. And let's actually go up to the lightened power. So, let's um, so go ahead and go from uh, go ahead and go from burning blood and go ahead and upgrade the defense of all troops. Okay. And then just don't put the rest of your um, talents into the latent power score. Which is only one more. So right now, sitting at this talent tree, that's what it looks like for my Minamoto. And I assume, Spooby, as I get more talent points, can I fill out this whole section of the nuke is of the nuker portion? Is that what the goal would be to completely max out this portion of it? Absolutely. Um, in my, my time, if you guys are like, you know, that's awesome about the 2.0 tree is that you actually have the ability to expand out to other regions as well. So if you actually want to go and build them as a nuker and cavalry, you can go ahead and do the same thing or anything like that. You can go ahead and build them as a pseudo as well. So if you guys do want to build them as pseudo, go ahead and go for March speed for cavalry and go ahead and go up to the left side. Well, it's also going to have the Dragon Saber and the un, uh, and the Unyielding Fury. That's going to build them up as a very strong nuker slash cavalry um, opponent. But for right now, we already do have Sao Sao, which is going to have it, which is already an amazing. All right, so Sao Zhao is going to be next. Is this one looking uh, looking the way that you want it to look right now, Spooby? Absolutely, yes. Um, so you know, having yours at level thirty, that's that looks great. That's right. You'll get there one day, Spooby. I mean, what oh, you got to do is keep on grinding through the game, and uh, one day you'll be on my level. And um, if you ever want to have me on your channel, giving you tips, tricks, or guides on, you know, so that you can improve, you know, I'm always available for you, brother. Please, if I can use you as a clickbait just for one day. Yeah, Man. one day. One day. Well, actually, what we're going to do right now, I'm going to end the video right here, guys. And the next video that's going to be on my channel is going to be the guide to Zhao Zhao, who's going to compliment Minamoto right here. So again, Spooby, thanks so much for coming down. I appreciate it, brother. Anything that you want to tell everyone about before we get out of here today? There's really like no real like wrong way that you guys can build them. Unless you want to build a jungler, you're pretty much just wasting your time. But uh, we're pretty much like, you know, for going for Calvary or Nuker, I've seen a lot of debates. I've actually talked to a lot of great friends. I've talked to Cookie Thief, talked to Tiberian, talked to mm -hmm. Sam from King of 55, and also Princess from King uh, 84 that there's really no wrong way if you want to go Nuker or Calvary. But pretty much all this would be my own opinion right here, like and based on like consensus of other kingdoms as well to build them like this. So I just want to give a huge shout out to Kingdom 85. I'm sorry, 84 and
Shout out to all those kingdoms. And your channel, Spooby? Oh, it's just Spooby HD. If you guys want to check me out, um, I, I released um, RSC videos almost every day. Yes, he does. So make sure you go check him out, guys. Also, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to throw a big thumbs up on it. And remember, you can always find me on Discord. Link is over there and in the description below. And if Discord is not your thing, hang out with me on Twitter. We're pushing 7,000 followers. But that's been it. I appreciate each and every one of you. And we will see all of you back here again tomorrow. Until then, be good.